I'm here with Mrs. Sue. She is the author of The Magic Scarf. It is a great children's book, and I'm going to talk to her a little bit about herself, what motivated her to write this book, and some other things she may have planned for the future. Now, Sue, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a uh, graduate from Mohawk High School in Bessemer, PA, and then I went to uh, YSU and got my educational degree. Okay. And after that, I was involved in several businesses, and I worked at Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield for uh, 32 years. After that, I worked for my husband, who uh -huh. had a contracting company, roofing contractor, yeah. and uh, I worked for him for 10 years. And after he passed away, I decided to, because there's so much hate in the world, to write something good for children to inspire them to be better. Yeah, now, now we're on that topic and, and we're in such an environment where a lot, of, a lot of authors are saying the same thing. You know, they're trying to emphasize reading, they're trying to get people to read. And, and you're, you know, you're investing, it's just, you wrote a book that you invested in. It's a self-published book that was published. We have through the affiliate program at Method 8 and the, the book is actually available on the site as well. Now you, you decided to invest into, this is your investment into the future. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I just thought that if I could help one child be better, and it's a story about five children and one of them, whose name is Susan, finds this scarf and yeah. it speaks to her uh -huh. and it tries to get all of these children to do, get involved and do good deeds in their neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And so it's their journey through summer vacation, what happens. So the story is, is pretty much like a lesson, teaching the yes. kids. Okay, yes. it's like teaching yes. the kids. I, I like the concept. Now, 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 what motivated you to write about, you know, give, me, give that particular topic, what's your, what's your goal? Well, uh, I wanted to inspire children, but children like something that's like a little bit different. Yeah. And magic, uh -huh. it's called the magic scarf. They like magic yeah. and different things because nowadays, there's so much on television that's magical and science fiction yeah. and all these things to like grab their attention, uh -huh. you know, and uh, would help them get involved with the story. And I noticed uh, the front cover, you kept everything simple. Is there a reason why you did that? Uh, I think children like those kinds of things. Yeah, you simple. Know, very simple. Good for the and imagination. This is, uh, yeah, let's, let's show. This is a, a picture of the book. I also put it on the screen, and uh, it, it, it's a very simple, easy read. Uh, large letters. And it's about, about almost about uh, let's see about about eighty to eighty three pages, and it's a very simple children's book. Very nice price, decent price, and it's uh, and it talks about it, it on the cover. She she puts it blatantly. The future is in the hands of our children. So now, Susan, now you, you, this is your first book, correct? Yes. And you have more to come. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Now, tell us about your experiences. Uh, do you has this is your first rodeo? So tell us a little bit about your experience. Was it was it an easy process? Did you learn something so far? Uh, well, uh, I tried to push myself and try something new. So uh -huh. this is my journey. Yeah. You know, like on trying something new. Uh -huh. And I think at my age, uh, I am 77 years old, that people need that you can be creative. Yeah. No matter how old you are. Uh huh. And try to do good for uh, good. other people. And she, the, the good thing I like about Susan is she's kept it calm. She's probably been one of the easiest persons to work with, and she 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 listens, and, and that's what I like. She she asks people for a point of view. For a lot for a lot of people who are aspiring authors, uh, the self publishing world has come along for, and it has helped a lot of people who have had a hard time getting a publishing deal. And that's what I wanted the segment to be a little bit about, so people can understand the process as well. Now, Susan's probably one of the many authors who probably submitted their synopsis, probably called a few places to get information. I'm sure yes. you've had to do that. Now mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that experience when you had to call, when you first came up with the idea that I want to publish a book, how was that? Well, I contacted um, several places 
and uh, I contacted you. Yeah, <laughs> you know I'm going to ask for. <laughs> and uh, you were willing to uh, look to see what I had. Yeah, and to read what I had, and then you uh, gave gave me very much, you know, enthusiasm. Yeah, you were yeah. enthused about it. And so I wanted to go ahead with it. And I yeah. thought, well, maybe this will work. Yeah. And that maybe I can have a new journey. So the, the process, I'll explain. Like she's explained it. The, a lot of people who want to be authors, they, they, they really, you, you submit a synopsis to the publisher. And the publisher has what they call a genre, a certain type of book they deal with. And Suze is in the children's aspect. So she's in a niche market. Now, you're in the market where kids will be able to learn and put your work into place. Are there are there any comments that you want to make? Like like give me your specific kid. Like are you aiming for a specific are you aiming for the, the kids who have behavior issues or, or is, is this book for all kinds of kids? Uh, this book is for all kinds of kids. You know, like uh, they get involved and uh, they make a club and this club of five children uh -huh. they end up during the summer uh, doing all kinds of good deeds in the neighborhood. Yeah, so it you teaches know? them about the yes. lessons. That's good, that's good. And how in the playground that they help children, yeah. uh, how they help the elderly people in the neighborhood, yeah. and uh, just things like that. Now, I, I have a, a really good personal question. Uh, some people base characters off of people they see or they like. Are, they, are any of these kids based off any maybe kids that you've ever taught or maybe come across your characters? Well, uh, I just know from stories that I've seen on television. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that uh, how uh, children are and uh, how they get involved and uh, they get involved with other children uh -huh. and how the idea of things like forming a club, uh, having a, a special handshake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or a special um, <laughs> word, you uh -huh. know, that's their password yeah. and things like that. And, and so that's what I tried to put in this book. And the, I always give the last few questions I want to ask for you is now your book is based off of these characters. Or is, is there any author that you looked up to growing up that you would probably try to say that motivated you? Well, uh, not anyone really. I mean, I did a lot of reading. Yeah. You know, and, okay. and and every book was like exciting. Yeah. You yeah. know, and so like I that's what I tried to do, make this exciting. That's good. And it is an exciting book. I had the pleasure of editing. I want to thank Sue so much for coming on. Are there any last comments you want to make to anybody out there uh before we go to a break or or, or just be in uh, there any last comments you want to make to the world? Now you have more books coming out. You've uh, been doing this for a oh, you, you she she keeps her mind active and she keeps her thoughts going. So are there any any last comments you want to make? I just want to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Brian. <laughs> well, her book is available <laughs> on the website, methodinc.com. I will probably put it on Amazon once I check their specs. I usually put some of the books on Amazon. If you want to check out the book, it is on the website. And uh, if, if you want to contact uh, the author, I always advise you contact Method Aid and then I'll, I'll reach out to Sue. She's She's uh she's uh she's been living a long journey, and so this is this has been her goal. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and uh and have a good week, Susan. Peace, son. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> have no fear, fellow citizens.